Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I have a design for you guys in Adobe BXD. This tutorial we're going to be creating an invoice application screen. Hope you guys are ready. Let's go ahead and head over to Adobe BXD and get everything set up. So first thing you want to download the project file link will be down in the description and this is what you will be greeted with. If you don't have these on you can turn on the grids over here by double clicking the artboard and all these settings are the same on both of the artboards. So on the left I have all the colors that we're going to be using for the mock-up we'll be using the bottom three the white and then the two gray colors and then for the dark we'll be using a mixture of all the colors here. I also have some gradient and solid color options if you don't want to use the gradient you can use the solid color. For the character styles, we're going to be using one font. It's called SF Pro Display. You do need a license for this if you are going to use this font for commercial use, but we're not going to do that, so we don't need to worry about that. For the character styles and sizing, we're going to be using kind of Apple's guidelines for that. This is what they usually use for their page titles and their tertiary and uh, buttons and so on. So all that is input for you. Down below that we have the symbols panel and here I have both status bars for white and black. Then we have a few icons. The image icon is from material icons, that's Google's. And the rocket is from linear icons. And then the down arrow, I think I just made that one myself as well as the Robin logo. So that's all of our symbols that we'll be using throughout the project. For the mock-up, the first thing I'm gonna do is drag in my status bar and then I'm going to center align this and align it to the top. For the correct positioning, the same one that Apple uses in their UI kit, they do 21 from the left, so I'll bump that over, and then 14 from the top. And I'm holding Alt or Option to see my spacing. Now our screen needs a title, so let's just title this invoice. And down here I'll select Page Title, and then we can add black to this as well. So I'm going to center this with my guides here on the left side guide and then directly on top of our guide here. I'm going to hold alt and copy this and drag it over. Make sure I have 17 spacing and I'm going to align this one to the right and then I'm just going to quickly make sure that one is aligned to the left. This one is going to be gray. I'm just going to select that and I'm also going to change this from medium to light. This is going to be our invoice number, so I'm going to do hashtag 000 for now. Then I'm going to hold alt and copy invoice, because we're going to have another title now, and this is going to be 38 pixels below this. And this one's going to be called client. So here we will start to select our client, or add new ones. And I'm going to drag out a rectangle, and I'm going to hold shift to make it a perfect square. And I'm going to make this 105 wide by 110 tall just lengthening the height slightly. For the roundness, I'm gonna apply eight, and we're gonna use that pretty much throughout the entire design. For some things we might have to lower it, and we'll just right click and apply this as a border. For the spacing, I'm gonna make sure that's 18 below client. Next, I'm gonna input my image, and this is just going to be a placeholder icon. Below that, we're going to have the client name. We'll position that. So let's go with probably five below that image. I'm going to grab both of them and hit Command G, and then grab that grouping and the background, and then center them together. Next, we can hit Repeat Grid, and then I'll just drag that over. For the spacing on that, we'll go with somewhere from 8 to 12. Let's try 8 first. That looks pretty good. Next up, I'm going to grab another rectangle and just drag this one out from one margin to the next. We'll apply our 8 on the border radius. And then for the border, I'm going to right click and then apply that gray we've been using. For the text here, I'm just going to input some junk text. We'll just do an email. So uh, email at email.com. And I'm going to align this to the left. And I'll do 2020 on the spacing there. Then we need the drop down icon. 
and drag that in. Make sure it's centered with the text. I'm going to touch it to the side of our rectangle and then go over 20. I'm going to hold Alt and copy this again. And then I'm going to change this to a text area. I'm just going to drag out a decent sized area. And I'll just drag that over a little bit more. Let's change the email to black. Notice I'm still using the light for the font sizing. And I'm also going to keep that here on this text as well. Now that we have that, I'm just going to make sure we have 20 spacing here in between the bottom of this text and the bottom of our container. So I'm just going to drag that up until we get about 20. That'll work. Next up, we're going to need another title. So I'm just going to hold Alt and grab this one, drag it down. This will be 38 below this box. And here we're going to say project hours. I'm going to grab the rectangle again, just drag one out. And I'm going to set the width to 81. And for the height, 58. Round the border to 8. And then we're going to apply this color as a border. Make sure that is center aligned with my text. Grab both of them. And then I'm going to hold Alt and hover over this rectangle. And you'll see we have 19 spacing. We're going to make that 38 to match our design. Just like that. Inside of here, we're going to have 12 hours by default. And I'm going to make this a page title or just a button input. They're exactly the same. And then I'm going to center that inside the rectangle and make sure the text is center aligned in case we need to change it later. Then we can just grab all of that, hold Alt, and go down 38 pixels to there. Just double check. And here we're going to change this to rate. So this is going to be our hourly rate. And I'm going to hold Alt and duplicate this, but 12 spacing in between both boxes. So this box is going to be $50 an hour. And this box is going to say USD for US dollars. And I'm actually going to widen this just a little bit. And we'll drag this over to the center. And then I'm going to copy my down arrow and bring it in. I'm going to put two spacing in between the text and the down arrow. And then I'm going to grab them, center them up inside of here, and then go over to the right, two or three, just like that. All of our texts need to be a different color, so I'm just going to grab all of them holding shift and then change them to this color gray. So far, so good. Next, we need another title, so I'm going to hold alt. I'm actually going to bring this down below these buttons so we can get the spacing at 38. And I'll just hold shift as I drag so I can't change the height value. And I'll drag it over here to our side margin. This one's going to say discount and optional. And then we're going to change that to our gray we've been using. I don't think we've even used this lighter gray, so you can delete that if you want. You can keep it if not. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it and get it out of our way. And then we finally need a down arrow for this one. And then I'm going to rotate this down arrow 270 degrees. So the idea is when the down arrow is pointing down, we it's expanded and we can see the info. And then when it's to the side like this, we can't see the information here, which is exactly what we want. Lastly, I'm just going to hold Alt and grab one of these rectangles. And I'm just going to put it down here at the bottom, make it the full width of our artboard, and then remove the border radius. I'm also going to change the border from the inside to the outside so we can't see it down here on these edges, only right here. I'm going to create a ellipse. So I'm going to grab the circle tool and hold shift for a perfect circle. And we're going to make this 62 by 62. Center align this to the artboard. And then it needs to split right on that line like that. Let's apply a default drop shadow and remove the border. For now, I'm just going to set this to our gray color. We need some more text for a cancel button. So I'm just going to put cancel. I'm going to align that to the left, and then I'm going to select tertiary font. 
And then I'll just make sure that's centered inside of this rectangle. Then we need our total. So I'm just gonna input total. And this is gonna be secondary. And I'm just gonna bold this a little bit. So we'll go to medium. And then we can hold alt and drag. And then we'll change this one to a page title. And we'll input our total income. So for now, I'll just put $360. I don't know what the math is on this. We'll do that later. Okay, make sure that is centered and aligned to this right side guide. And then for this text, we'll just center it with that one and put 12 spacing in between the two. Then we need to change all three of these to our gray. So I'm gonna grab all those and then set them. So I'm just gonna double check everything. I'm gonna turn off my grid layout. Make sure everything is looking good. I think we have everything we need inputted. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this up, Command S, and we're ready to move on to the design. All right, real quick, I'm just gonna change this to a project description. So I'm just gonna paste in a little bit of text. Uh, before the person were to input this, they would probably say add a project description or something. We're just going to be doing the filled out and completed form here in design. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to delete this artboard and then hit Command D on the mockup and change this to design-1. Then we can set this to the dark background color. First thing we need to do is change the status bar. So I'm just gonna drag that in and I'm gonna overlay that exactly on top of this one with the same positioning. And then Command Shift left square bracket key to send it to the back. Select the front one, which would be the black one and delete it. Just gonna double check my spacing holding Alt Looks good. Next, I'm gonna grab all of my titles and I'm going to create these as white. Except this last one, we're gonna leave that at the gray. Next, before I forget, I'm also gonna change this. I added that up and it comes out to be $600. Let's make sure that all aligns good. And then I'm going to ungroup this repeat grid. Command Shift G. For the first one, I'm gonna input Robin, ink. I'm gonna center align the text and then just recenter it inside of here. Next, I'm gonna remove the border off of this and I'm gonna select my gradient here, the blue one. Apply that as a fill. Then I'm gonna select it over here and I'm gonna adjust this to the side. Like that. And then let's change the text of Robin to white. Then we can delete the placeholder icon and then drag in our actual logo. For this next one, I'm gonna delete the text and logo since it's off the screen. And then I'm gonna grab the backgrounds for all three of them and change them to the 80% dark and then remove the border. Next up, I'm gonna change the client names to add client. And change the font to white. Next up, I'm gonna try out bumping these down to a tertiary size font. So I'm just gonna select that and then change it to white. Let's do eight spacing. And I wanna make sure they're both centered still, which they are. So that goes with the Robin ink as well. I'm gonna drop that down to a tertiary size font, which is 13 pixels in size and change it to white and then eight spacing to match the rest. So we can add a little bit more to separate these from the background. So I'm gonna grab all of these squares individually and then check the shadow box. That's a little too dark, so I'm just gonna highlight them all and then I'm gonna select the opacity and drag that down to about 10%. Next for this field, I'm just gonna grab the background, remove the border and then apply the 80% dark or we could just right click on one of these and click copy and then right click on the rectangle and paste appearances and it will bring the shadow with it as well. So I'm actually gonna do that for these next three. So I'm just gonna select all three of these rectangles and paste appearance. And then also we can do that down here at the bottom, paste appearance. 
So the next thing we need to do is change this text to a blue color. I'm gonna use the lighter blue, which is this one right here. It's 28B0F2. It's gonna select that. And the icon and this text can be left alone at this blue gray. For our input hours and our rate, I'm gonna change those to solid white so they stand out a little bit more. USD isn't so important since it's more than likely gonna be input by default, so we'll leave that as our blue gray. Same goes with this title and this icon as well. Down here at the bottom, I'm just gonna double check and make sure these two are the correct blue gray. They are, and then this one we're gonna to change to that lighter blue, just like that. Just so we have a more complete looking design, I'm gonna change the invoice number to something like 71. Instead of the number, I'm gonna spell it out. Two page website design and front end development for Robin Inc. That looks good. Okay, and then let's try to bump this text down to 15 and just see if that looks a little bit better. And we also need to change the email to business. at robin.com. And let's see, what else do we need to do to this? I think we're all good except this button. So for this button, I gave you two options. You can use this color right here, which is FF5165, or you can use the gradient, which is that same color with a lighter color on it. I'm personally just going to use this, and I think that stands out a lot better than the gradient. Next, we can just drag in our rocket icon, and then we'll just drag that to the center of our circle. I'm gonna select this font again, and I'm going to increase the line height to something like 20, just to give it a little bit more space. And with that, we have our app screen for our invoice app. I think this looks pretty cool. I hope you guys do as well, and I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more design and code related content. If you guys wanna follow me, all of my social media is linked down in the description. It's at Kaylor Edwards. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.